I know you are excited to create a logic for your game, but there's something else we need to learn before we continue, and that's switch statements. Switch statements are another way to do branching in C Sharp, and they are easier to read, understand, and maintain when there are multiple options. So let's see how it works. A switch statement chooses code to execute based on a list of candidates. It evaluates if one of the candidates matches a condition and goes ahead to execute a code block. So the first thing we need to do is to write the word switch with the condition inside parentheses. And for us, our condition is the game selected with the trim and lowercase already applied. And then the candidates will be declared using the word case. In our program, the candidates will be the letter A, S, M, D, and Q. Then we use a colon and declare what code will be executed. In our case, we are going to call a method with a message. And there are a few different ways to get out of a switch statement, but the most commonly used is the word break, which terminates the closest in closing switch, or a loop, which you're going to learn about later. So I'm going to fast forward and finish our switch statement. And you can already see here how it's much cleaner, way more readable than a bunch of if else statements. Now we have all of the options in the menu in our switch statement, but we also have a default in the end. And that's the equivalent to the final else statement in the previous solution. And that will handle everything that's not one of the candidates. So if the users don't choose one of the options in the menu, we are going to inform that it's an invalid input. Now, before we test this, let's do a bit of refactoring. I want to have the menu and the switch statement inside a method, and that method is going to be called menu. So I'm going to show you another Visual Studio trick. I'm choosing the entire code responsible for the menu and right-clicking, and then I'll choose quick actions and refactorings. And I'm presented with a list of options, and I'm choosing the first one, which is a new method with a couple of arguments, and I'm just changing the name to menu. So Visual Studio helps us to create a method already with the arguments that it picks up, but the method gets created in the end of the file, and here I'm just moving it to the top so that everything is nice and organized. Here I have all my methods collapsed, so I can have a nice overview of my entire program. But now let's test it, and the addition game gets selected correctly, but let's also test the default. So I'm going to type something that's not one of the options. I'll type the letter J and I get invalid input. Everything still works, but now we're using a switch statement. 